Hello everybody, Dead Man's Macaroni here. Get your macaroni ready because this is going to be a one-off of Into the Dead. Uh, it's a pretty old game at this point, at least I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not that far in, I only have some of the guns. So yeah, but I felt like doing an episode on it. I haven't recorded in a couple days and I'm sorry about that. You can see my high score is close to 4,000, which probably isn't really that great, but you know what? It is what it is. Alright, so the objective is to make it through a few more cornfields. I'm not going to start with any of the perks, because I don't want to start with perks. Because, just because, that's why. If you don't like it, too bad. So basically the whole game is just running through an endless field of zombies until you run into the zombie and get eaten and die. Pretty much the whole game. Ooh, we're actually going to get to see a, a new gun. I don't have this gun. Or it's not a gun. So this is the upgrade version of the chainsaw, which we might see the actual chainsaw. I probably shouldn't have used that there, but I didn't really have much of a choice because that zombie was going to hit me. At least I'm pretty sure he was. Either way, I used it already. I'm not a big fan of the chainsaw saws anyway. I prefer a gun. The shoddy is one of the better guns in my opinion just because it has a scatter shot. So it actually kills like a, a decent group of them. Alright, a reload on ammo. Sometimes it gives you the same gun that you already had, and that's fine, because the shoddy is a good gun. Great for going through the cornfields with, actually. Cornfields can be a little bit of a challenge, because sometimes you'll get, you know, like, glance off a zombie in one of the rows into the, um, corn, the actual corn row, and then there will be, like, a zombie in the corn row, or in the row of corn, not a hairstyle. Oh, well, we died. Whatever. I'm just gonna do a couple runs and then I'll probably end the episode. Or end the recording anyway. Yeah, that's one thing about this game. The extra guns, they're a bit overpriced. Like, I'm sorry, but they are. They're not more than a bit overpriced, they're ridiculously priced. But. Other than that, the game's pretty good, and they did give you, an, like, for each gun that you buy, it's basically just a more powerful version of the free version of the gun. So, I mean, that's really if you're just not content with the guns that they give you, then you can go ahead and buy some new ones, but, eh, I don't really see any reason to. Oh, we just used the bullet for no reason. That's great. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, I use the bullets for no reason usually anyway. Except for the last bullet that I always save. Um, just in case. Or I save it in case, like, for an emer emergency reason. Which I just wasted it right back there, so I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Normally I try to save it, except for when I'm recording and trying to talk and getting sidetracked. Yeah, blame it on the recording. Man, that was a crap run. Well, not a crap run. Not a great run. We didn't even make it through a freaking cornfield. Come on now, let's not start slacking here. Okay, that was the second run, so maybe I'll do two or maybe I'll do five runs? Yeah, we'll do five runs. Well, we'll recheck in at five runs and we'll see. We'll see how long it feels like it's taken. And if, if it doesn't feel like it's been that long, maybe we'll do another one. But we'll see. So this is the control scheme that I use. With the, you just tap each side to move that direction. And you tap the middle to shoot. There are different control sets, so if that seems like not something that you'd enjoy, then, uh, 
you know, don't put yourself off the game just because of that, because there are different ways to control it. This is just the way that I like, because this is the way that, well, this is the default way, and this is the way that I've always played it, so that's the way I'm playing it. Didn't really need to use that bullet there, probably shouldn't have. As you can see, you can also get dogs and stuff, as you might have been able to tell by the companion perk if you're paying attention. And if you weren't, well, good for you. Hey, we got a revolver back. Yeah, you can get your, your old gun back off of um, your grave, basically. Which is kind of cool. Although it will have the same amount of ammo in it as it did when you went down. As you saw, that one had six bullets in it. Uh, the pistol is the starting gun, so it's kind of weak. It takes two shots to kill each zombie. But, if you get it, then you get it. It's not that bad. It's still a decent gun. I mean, a gun is a gun in this game. It means you might actually survive for a bit. How I didn't die there, I don't know. Probably should have died. I only glanced off of about 15 zombies. Alrighty then, don't kill any of them, gun. Fine by me, see if I care. Boom! I love the shoddy. I really do. Oh, it's getting nerve-wracking now. As you can see, I'm pretty sure we're starting to pick up speed here. I've never really been entirely sure about that, but... And this is where the game just starts to get to a point where it's almost as though they're trying to make it kind of impossible. You, there's normally like a pretty obvious path that you can take, but that's only if you're not glancing off of zombies every three seconds like we were back there. Man, I, see the problem with, that I always have is there's a second cornfield that we were actually pretty close to. Normally... I don't make it past that second cornfield because if you can't tell I'm a bit trigger happy in the game and I normally run out of ammo before I get to the cornfield and then I'm trying to go through the cornfield without a gun and there's a load of zombies in the cornfield it just makes it as you might be able to guess a bit harder than it should be if I would just preserve my ammo so that's what we're gonna do this time we're gonna we're gonna preserve ammo at least somewhat I'm gonna kill zombies every now and again because it's fun and because it's just a, an infinite runner game anyway so I'm not really super concerned about it I mean oh, oh why did I do that to the pistol man didn't I just say I was gonna try to preserve my ammo what am I doing bam like to have a nice even number of bullets in the pistol because of the two hit kill thing. Every now and again I fire off a random shot accidentally because I'm getting trigger happy and I'm just mashing the Oh no, we're going through the cornfield with one bullet I guess. In the pistol. In the freaking pistol. That's not even a kill. I mean it can be a kill. It's normally not, but it can be. Uh that was Four runs, if I'm thinking correctly here. Um, I'm gonna do two more, I think. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how far I make it on this one. I just don't feel like I've really been recording all that long. It's the only thing. Alright, come on. We're gonna make it to 4,000 this time. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. And if you don't feel it, well, that sucks for you. You gotta have hope. Have faith. We can do this. Bam. The second one is almost always the dog, as far as I've seen anyway. Which is pretty cool that they just give you a dog. At least I think it's pretty cool. I mean, they make you pay for about everything else, so, you know, other than your, your basic dog and your basic gun, or your basic guns, you gotta pay for everything else, but, you know, oh well.
I just remembered why I was trying to save that bullet. Here's the problem. I keep on getting down my last bullet, and then I, I think, okay, I've got to save this bullet. Then I start trying to continue to do my commentary, and, and then I forget that I needed to save the bullet. I'm, I'm, I'm too trigger happy. Like, that's it. I'm just too trigger happy in the game. Like, that's all it is. Of course it's in the game. What else would it be in? Come on now, man. I'm thinking. Alright. There goes our chainsaw. But at least you guys got to see what the normal chainsaw looks like. I've actually never gotten to use that other chainsaw, as far as I know. Because there was a point when I did play this game before, but I had to restart it because this is a different device. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't even originally download it for recording purposes, it's just that right now, I don't know. I mean, I think the game at least deserves a one-off, it's just not really LP material, just because it's kind of repetitive. It's fun, but it's super repetitive. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more run. Just one more. Just one more. That's what I always tell myself when I'm playing this game. Just one more run. Just one more. Ten runs later, I'm still playing the game. I don't know. It's just kind of entertaining. It's a fun way to kill time. It's pretty much what I use this app for is to kill time. That's just the type of game it is. It's a time killer. Pretty much, anyway. Yeah, I'm sitting at home, bored, nothing really to do. Pull this out. Play it. It's a game, it's what it's for. It's to play. Alright, well, we're out of revolver ammo. Whatever. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take a chainsaw. Not, as I said before, not really a big fan of the chain chainsaw, but you know, whatever. One thing that I don't like about the dog is he kills zombies that are like way far out of your path. So he's kind of pointless. Like, there's not really any reason to have him. He doesn't really provide any real protection. I mean, sure, occasionally he'll kill a zombie that is in your path, but it doesn't really happen super, super often. Alright, well, that's t making it through 10 cornfields. Uh, we didn't make it through all the cornfields in this episode. Episode I had previously gone through some, in case you forgot how to do math. Um, but, pretty sure we haven't gone through 10 cornfields in the small amount of, re amount of time that we've been recording. Okay. Come on, let's make this last run a good run. Has to be good, or else I might just have to do another one. No, no, this is the last one. Alright, I'm saving this last bullet. That's what I always tell myself, to, and then I use it. Come on. Okay, I see a gun, or a glow. It may not be a gun, but it's definitely a box. And now we have it. It's a revolver. Just can't tell. Alright. We are out of the forest. Let's make it through this second cornfield. Please. Please, game. Let me do this. Let me do this for YouTube. <sighs> Wasting all my ammo. I am really pushing my luck. Okay, well, we're not going to make it through this cornfield. I'm gonna make it! Oh man, I really thought I had a chance there, but did you see how many zombies there were? If you don't have the shoddy in there, you're pretty much screwed. Alright, well this was a one-off of uh, Into the Dead. Pretty fun game. Uh, ooh, look at that, I unlocked a submachine gun. Great, awesome. Weapon unlocked, alright. I guess that means I'm on weapon set 7. 
Kill five zombies with a shield. That's going to be easy. Make it through five forests and reach 3,000 meters in one run. Well, I will probably be doing that at some point. Okay, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time for... Um, I'm not sure what I'll be recording next time, but it'll be something. Probably a next the next part in one of the LPs. But regardless, thank you all for watching, and uh, see you guys then.